Mozambique, the southeastern coastal country in southern Africa, borders Swaziland, South Africa in the south. In the west, there is Zimbabwe, Zambia, and Malawi partly is embedded inside Mozambique, whilst Tanzania is in the north. The eastern part of Mozambique is the Indian Ocean. From Maputo to Cabo Delgado, that province in the northern part of the country is 1,600 kilometers. The recent insurgency, allegedly perpetrated by some jihadists, is a negative development in the region. Zimbabwe Mozambique Friendship Association Chairperson Dev Popatlal and Munyaradzi Machacha, the principal of the Chitepo School of Ideology, speak about this development. Some of the incidents which are happening in Cabo Delgado, especially in the uh, town of Pemba, where uh, uh, insurgency. Uh, which comes from from Somalia uh, crossing Kenya and then Tanzania is affecting area uh, uh, which is a focus of whole world uh, right now. International community also is uh, broadcasting this information. Uh, what I will as a as a solidarity uh, friendship association as we we are. And in, in name of uh, uh, our region, and especially people of Zimbabwe, we, we are making appeal to everybody. What is very strange is that um, the jihadists are appearing at a time that Mozambique has found oil and gas uh, reserves in the Cap uh, Cabo Delgado area. And all of a sudden, we now have these militants uh, fighting and trying to overthrow a legitimately elected government of Mozambique. Uh, it's strange because before the discovery of oil, uh, yeah, we, we were not having these kind of uh, military uprisings. One will only assume that uh, those that want to have uh, control over Mozambique's resources. What is at stake are resources including minerals of the region. Non-state actors have to be confronted head-on, said the chairperson of the Organ on Politics, Defense and Security of SADC, President Eric Mokwetsi Masisi of Botswana, when he recently came to confer with his counterpart, President Emerson Dambuzo Mnangagwa, last week. Ruben Barwe, ZBC News, Harare.